Hello and welcome to the Babri Young channel. Now today's video is a little bit different. I'm not going to be making anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the clothes and styles that I like. Basically what I've got in my wardrobe. Now I like clothes but I'm not into fashion which is why I probably like to try and make my own clothes. Also the clothes that I like to wear are not what you'd call conventional guys clothes. So I've got quite a mix of clothing in my uh, wardrobe and uh, well, while I'm concerned, clothing is just uh, a broad term. Uh, it doesn't have to be for anybody in particular. All people can wear any style of clothing and uh, as long as it's sort of tailored right, then it's going to fit all right. To me, that's good enough. And I suppose that's another reason for making my own clothes. I get to make them to fit me. So uh, any style of clothing I fancy, I'll go for it. So I suppose I better get on with it and start having a look at uh, my wardrobe. Okay, so let's get on to looking at what I have in my wardrobe. I suppose, first of all, I'll just mention about the sort of base layers that I would have. So, I mean, everybody wears a base layer. I, my needs sort of basically undies, tights, and um, like a, a vest, sort of, normally sort of a camisole type vest. You know, the ones that, that these little straps on them, very comfortable. Sometimes if it's really cold, I've got some vests that have got a thicker strap and I'll wear one of these smaller vests, these little cami vests, and one of those vests on top, just so I stay warm because they are really, really quite comfortable and they do keep you nice and warm. So, first part, tops, shirts and blouses. So let's have a look at what I generally have. Now, this sort of thing is the usual sort of thing in it. How many people have got this in their wardrobe? A basic sort of t-shirt, it's a bit stretchy and you, you put it on as a base layer or you layer it up with other clothes. I mean, I've got quite a number of uh, different types of this type of thing. So, I mean, there are a basic one, I've got that, which is really nice, very comfortable. These are all bought, by the way. I haven't made any of these type of tops, these little ones. Uh, I might do in the future at some point, basic sort of t-shirt, something like this. You know, it's it's comfortable, it works. Um, this one, again, I've got a number of white ones, I don't know why, for some reason I decided to go for white at one point for quite a bit. This one's got some sleeves on it, so, you know, it works if you want a bit of a sleeve, which is great. Very basic, very simple, um, ordinary design. Um, this one's got a bit of patterning on the actual top of it so you've got a nice bit of detailing on there um, and that's the sort of thing another just basic t-shirt and I've got some that look a little bit different um, like this green one which is very comfortable really good indoor slouchy type thing got some sort of sequiny details on there this is really good if you just want something nice and loose and easy in the summertime, this is brilliant. Just a little um, strappy top underneath and this, and there you go. It can't get any simpler than that. Nice, easy top. So that is basic t-shirts and stuff. I mean, I've got loads of them. I mean, and I'm sure everybody's got loads of stuff like that. Brilliant things. I might make some at some point because they are really nice. And then as I sort of go through my clothing, I eventually hopefully will change my stuff that I've made. Again, they don't have to be particularly fitted. They're just a really nice basic top to wear. So, shirts. Well, I'm wearing a shirt now. This is a shirt or blouse, as somebody would say. This one was um, given to me by a friend, so who who didn't really want it. I don't. Well, I don't know. Perhaps it didn't fit very well. I'm not surprised because it was exceptionally baggy and really not very well shaped. So what I did is I took it apart and I sort of shaped it up a bit and put it back together and uh, it does fit better. It's still not the most brilliant fit. I don't think it ever will be because of how it's been cut because it isn't, you know, off the internet type per top. So uh, <laughs> trying to get it to be tailored up better is really a bit difficult unless I was to really go to town and fully tailor it up and then, then it might fit better. But I have changed it. Um, there wasn't a pocket here, just one of those fake things, but I put a real pocket in. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, 
lovely little um, top that I can use as an everyday wear. Then of course there's the shirts that I've actually made myself. As you can see I've got a, three of them here. I mean they're all been made from either cheap materials that I've got in a budget sale sort of thing or they are actually um, duvet covers that I have reworked basically. I thought I used them, why not use sheets and duvet covers, uh, works absolutely fine. See this one and the brilliant thing about this shirt is this one I sort of amended and altered from the pattern that I originally got it from which is the Quick Sew 3 treble 5. This is a brilliant pattern. I say I did some amendments to it and I've got what I feel is a really nice shirt that fits really well. You know, there's a certain amount of ease in there, but not too much. It, it's just so comfortable. Um, yeah, I just like it. I made it several times. I've got this one, um, which has got contrasting um, colours to it. I mean, I've got a bit of... Uh, there's a pink and a light blue and then the main part is dark blue. Um, I have got this blue one, just all blue one, which is one of the first ones I made um, and it came out really nice. I did have a bit of problems with the collar. I've always seemed to have a bit of a problem with putting the collar on but perhaps it's just me. So yeah, and I've made it loads of times. I've got about, I don't know, six or seven of these. A couple of them I've got short sleeve rather than long sleeve. So yeah, this is an absolute brilliant shirt. I do like it. I think it fits me really well. A couple of darts in the back that weren't on the pattern but I added in to help with a bit of shaping and tailoring on there. So yeah, shirts, absolutely brilliant. do have a bunch of other shirts and blouse tops so uh, let's have a look at those. Continuing on with shirts and blouses and that type of thing, well there's this top which I absolutely adore. This is a really nice top. This is a made one. Uh, this is from the Simplicity 9177 pattern, which I found a little taxing to make, but it was a nice learning experience to make this. But I've done this twice. This is the second one I made, and this is the actual good material I had when I had that pattern in mind. So, and it came out brilliant. Absolutely love this. Uh, this top it's almost got a slight jacket feel about it but other tops that I've got as well sort of more ordinary this one it's more like a shirt this one I had to amend the um, near the cuff got caught so I made it into a short sleeve so that was another just basic um, shirt then we've got something like this which is a lovely top it's nice in colour, feel, it's probably um, polyester I imagine, but it is a really nice comfortable um, blouse to wear, that one. Um, those two are bought ones, I, I bought those, they're not made. Um, some I, I did make though was this one, which is my blue and pink top. Um, again, this one was a little bit taxing, I think the material is just a little bit thin for the um, for the actual design, but this is from the Quick Sew 4158 pattern, which is, as far as I'm concerned, a really nice pattern. Once you got used to the idea that you're cutting on the bias and you've got to be careful about it not stretching out, it's actually not that bad a pattern. This one, I added a placket in and put some buttons on the front, but it's meant to be just over the head. You put it over your top, your head sort of type top. Um, I have a consideration for this one. I might make this out of something with a little bit of stretch in it. Not a lot of stretch, but maybe something like 15% stretch and um, maybe make it a size smaller and try that way. Don't know, might work, might not, but I'd like to give it a go. And then the last top I've got here is this one. This is a nice black top. Um, this is a bought top, I'm getting into closer in, can't really see it because it's black, can't really see what it looks like. So um, let's um, get it on and have a look. And there you go, as you can see it's a nice top, um, got a bit of, comes in quite close from the waist. I mean I bought this because um, it just looks so nice. I mean can't really see it very well I suppose because it is a black top, it's uh, 
basically got some poppers in there, just folds over, poppers fix up. The poppers were in a different position when I first got it and they just didn't seem like they were in the right place at all so I removed them. So now it's got poppers here and one here and it's a nice top, nice v-neck. It is really comfortable. I mean if I could find a pattern to make this style of top then I would love to make one but I haven't found a pattern that quite is quite the same as this. So I've only got this one which is as I said a board top but uh, there you go. I do like it. It's got some patterning on the material. I don't know if I can get this to show up on there, maybe. So it's um, definitely got a patterning, but yeah, nice little top. So as you can see, a range of different tops from shirts that I've made to sort of blouse and, and longer type tops. So t-shirts, shirts, blouses, I've got a whole range of them. So I've got a lot to choose from and when I wear them, I tend to sort of mix up what I'm wearing them with. Like at the moment, I've got this skirt on. But I could easily be wearing a pair of trousers or some slacks or something else, you know. So really, tops are a very versatile thing to be wearing. And I love wearing different styles and shape and different, different things to do with tops that give me a different look, basically. Because there are so many different styles and they're just brilliant to max sorry, mix up with other stuff to um, maximise your dress. Now, as I said before, I don't tend to conform to the norms of fashion and what uh, I should and should not wear, so I do tend to wear quite a lot of skirts, um, of which I've got one on now. This is a nice basic skirt. It's a lovely skirt. It's just got an elasticated waistband. Absolutely fits lovely, and it's really, really comfortable. Easy to get on and off. It's just such a nice... Um, some of clothing to wear but I've got a lot of skirts so um, let's have a look at a few of those. Now I've got some slightly shorter skirts of which this blue one that I've got now is a little bit shorter and it comes down to there there's me my knee. Um, I've got this other blue one little button-up one lovely little skirt um, this one's great for um, just having on when it's uh, quite warm because it's uh, going to be quite cooling because it's not overly long uh, these, all these three are bought. I bought these. I haven't made these. Uh, this one I found in the charity shop. Um, great little buy this is. Um, it is a branded skirt. I won't say what shop it's originally from, but this one is just got. It's just a stretchy skirt. Again, really nice and comfortable to put on. Do love wearing these. All three are very nice and comfortable. I say these two are great for the summertime. So. Uh, <laughs> easy wearing skirts. Now there are skirts that I've actually made so I've um, got three of them here starting with this lovely little wrap round. This is a wrap top, sorry wrap skirt and it's um, made out of this sort of, I don't know, I don't know what colour it is, it's a lightish green and it actually does have unicorns on it. I thought it was horses when I bought it but it is unicorns and that is actually from a slim Simplicity, say so again, simplicity pattern 8133. Three. And it's actually the style that's on the front there that the uh, model is wearing. So it is a really nice, comfortable um, skirt. I do enjoy wearing it. It's a nice little basic wrap round. Made out of slightly lighter material. It um, really does work well, especially in the summertime. It's a bit hot, you want a quick wrap round, that one will work just perfectly. And as you can see, it is a really nice basic uh, basic skirt. Just wrapped around, a little tie piece there, put a popper in that bit, and it just fits on really nicely. A lovely, sort of cool, summery type um, wrap skirt. And it's actually designed to sit off the waist. My natural waist is here, so it's sort of sitting almost slightly on that um, upper hip. You know, you've got hips here, and it's meant to sit up on the upper hip or the lower waist, however you want to call it. So it, it's um, got a slightly odd position that it sits, but it is really nice, really comfortable, really easy to put on, very um, versatile basic type of skirt. Another skirt that I did make was uh, this one, which is from this another simplicity pattern, which is the 8650. Um, Again, quite a simple pattern, 
But of course I made it difficult because I decided to make it out of, uh, I decided to make it out of some um, sort of chiffon skirt with some <coughs> that sort of polyester skirt lining material. Both are very slippy and slinky and are very hard to work with. But it is a nice skirt. It's just a nice casted waist so it's easy to put on and off. Again, a nice summer type thing. And I think it worked quite well. Just took a lot of work to actually get it together because of the materials I used. But again, good learning experience and I enjoyed making it. Uh, another skirt that I've got is this one. Again, this is um, elasticated waist and it's a basic skirt, almost like a half circle skirt. Now this one, see the pattern on there? This one was actually um, from a different pattern entirely. It's actually from a, a dress pattern. And when I was uh, making that dress pattern, I realized that the way that it was constructed, you've got a top piece and the skirt piece, and then they're just joined together. So I thought, well, if you just put a waistband on it, you can actually make a skirt from that. And that's exactly what I did. You can see, it's definitely a bit longer. It comes down to about the knee, so it is a, a longer skirt but it is a really nice skirt. Um, goes on simple, like I say, elasticated waist, and it's just comfortable. A couple more skirts that I've got to show is, first of all, this one. Now this one, nice and swishy, and it's got from some very sort of stretchy material. I do like this. Um, now this originally was from uh, a dress that was given to me to reuse, you know, sort of cycle or whatever, and I came up with the idea of doing this skirt from it. Took the top section off and just made this skirt from it, of which I think it's really quite nice. It's a slightly longer skirt, um, comes down to just below my knee, um, and it's really, really comfortable. Actually quite warm, and I was thinking when I made it, it'd be a nice summery one, but yeah, it's actually quite warm and uh, nice and comfortable. So great if I just want something quick and easy to put on and it's going to be comfortable and warm. So there's, uh, there's that. Next one is this skirt. Now this is like, um, like a soft denim type skirt. I've had this for ages and it is so, so comfortable. Um, now this one, when I first had it, when I got it, it's got two sets of buttons. No, I've not buttoned it up. There are more buttons, I've just not buttoned it up. So you've got one, two, three, four, four buttons either side. And uh, now the buttons on this side were fake and the only, the only buttons that actually worked, if I remember rightly, was um, these three buttons, one, two and three. That wasn't, but didn't button up and these four were fake. And I thought, no, I don't like that. I want them to actually work. So I actually put some real um, buttonholes in and I did all the buttons so they all button up. So it is like a double breasted I know it's not on the top, but more like a double-breasted skirt. So all the buttons do up and it makes it nice and comfortable and steady. And because it's denim, it doesn't stretch, it just sits there nice and comfortable. Comes down to about the knee length, can't quite see it there. Um, you know, to literally pretty much on the knee. So that is a really comfortable skirt that I did amend to make it fit a little better. Even though I just amended the buttons, but it did make it much better to wear. So, you know, as you can see, there's a range of skirts there, a range of different things that I wear, from short, easy to get on skirts. I think actually one of the things I do have with a lot of the skirts is they're easy to get on and off. They're quick and simple skirts. Nothing really flash or over tailored. They're just Simple, nice skirts of different varying lengths. So, yeah, skirts are a really nice, versatile item of clothing to wear. I think it's just a shame that um, they're not considered to be a guy's item of clothing. I think that really does have to be something that's got to change in our society because it gives us so much more versatility in the clothing range we can wear. Okay, next up is trousers or pants, as some people call them. You know, I call them trousers. That's um, sort of we. I refer to them in the UK, uh, starting up with something like this. They look a bit like jeans, but they're not. These are called jeggings, which are a bit like jeans. They're basically 
I suppose they came from something like a pair of leggings but made with denim, denim type material, so they called them jeggings. Very basic, comfortable, versatile item of clothing. Elasticated waist, no zips or anything on that, like that, so you don't have to worry about that, so, which makes them very, very, very comfortable. And there you go, a pair of leggings, really quite comfortable. They are um, a very basic, easy thing. Elasticated, stretchy, they just they just fit nicely. They go with so much stuff, they're just easy to pair up with pretty much anything you want to. Um, I've got some ordinary trousers and um, ordinary trousers don't really tend to wear them. They've got a little bit of tailoring to them and they could be wide-legged and sometimes a bit narrow, sometimes they just don't seem to fit very well. I've never tried making trousers. It's something that I will want to have a go at some point in the future, but they always seem like they're quite complicated. So I've steered away from doing trousers, but maybe in the future I might have a go at them. But they are very versatile. So these jeggings are very versatile. I don't find trousers so versatile. I'm not keen on trousers. I don't think they're very comfortable, to be quite honest. Um, and I suppose, as a guy, I'm meant to wear them all the time. But I think they're a horrible item of clothing. If you're into trousers, and you like them, and you think they're brilliant, then fine. As I say, clothes should be for everybody. Another thing that I do tend to wear is things like actual jeggings, no, not sorry, leggings as they're called. These are basically like a, just a material leggings. A lot of them are a lot more stretchy or made out of really slight stretchy, clingy material. Um, but these ones are just a basic um, leggings, patterned nice and comfortable. These are really very comfortable, almost wear these, it's like a pyjama set. These ones are that comfortable. Then we've got something like these, a bit more of a slack, um, you know, they're baggy, they're looser, um, easy to put on, especially when it's warm. You want something that maybe covers your legs but is not tight and a bit loose, but um, that works really well. But yeah, I tend to find that my main go-to item for trousers is a pair of jeggings because they're just so versatile, so comfortable and they go with pretty much anything. Okay, let's move on to dresses. Now, I don't wear too many dresses or that type of thing too much. I do like some dresses like this one. This is effectively what they call a tunic, well I'll call it a tunic top slash dress because Quite a lot of the tu um, tunic tunic um, dresses tend to be quite short, like this one is. So you can wear it effectively as a top and call it a top, or uh, you can call it a dress, wear it a pair of thick tights or something, um, and call it a dress. It is just about long enough to be able to do that. Um, this is with a pair of jeggings, as you can see, pairs up really nicely. What's great about this, this particular one, even though it's got short sleeved, if you've got one with a longer sleeve, this one's got a nice um, neck piece to it, um, comes down to about here, so covers my bum and keeps that warm as well. But at the same time, it's not really long, it's not getting in the way, so it is a brilliant style of um, top stroke dress to wear. And it is a style I really like. Don't have very many of these. This is the only one like this. This is actually a bought one, but I do want to be able to find some patterns and make a lot more, or make a bunch of these style of, um, as it were, dress strap slash top type thing. So it is one I need to find. So finding a pattern that will work for this style of top is something I need to find out for. But, sorry, I need to look out for and find, and if I can find one, I'll make some of these tops. Now there are some dresses that I've actually made, or tops, tunic, well, I don't know how you describe them. Again, they're that sort of in-between thing. This one is actually from a new look pattern, new look 6467, which is that one. And this was actually one of the first sort of tops that I did. And it was a little challenging because it's quite a sort of basic one there's no real shaping to it and it's got a zip in the back and having never done zips this was um very much a challenge for me because well 
I still don't do zips very much now and I, I really didn't have a clue what I was doing with this one but it did come out all right I mean I was quite happy with the way it looked and uh, it is quite a nice top it's a lovely pattern it's got um, putty cats all over it and so yeah and it is a nice top again it's one of those things that sort of comes down quite far it's a bit longer than a tunic top slash dress but it, it again it's that style of thing um, yeah it is nice I do need to make it again because now that my skills have improved I think it's something that I could make better and make it fit better but it was a nice um, it was a nice pattern to make and it was a good learning experience to make that so yeah I think that will get done again at some point it's almost like a pinafore type dress now this isn't the first time that I'd made this particular top first time I made it I made it with a zip in the back and the material I made it with it felt like I had a little bit of stretching but it wasn't an actual stretch material so the second time I made it I made it from this material which is a stretch it's got about 15% stretch in it so this one I didn't put the zip in the back hoping that because it's a bit of a stretch it wouldn't need it and you know what it worked perfectly it came out really nice again it's one of these ones that well it's a little bit longer this one it is definitely a dress but again you could make this so it's a bit shorter and it's more like the tunic dresses now this one is actually from another new look pattern style and this is 6572 and that was actually really quite a nice and fairly simple design so that worked really well and again having done it in this slightly stretched material not having to put a zip in it made it even easier because you haven't got to fiddle around on the back there and yeah this is um, a really lovely comfortable easy to wear um, top uh, dress and you can match this up with most things you can put a, a basic t-shirt on underneath you can just have a strappy vest on wear it with thick tights or put some jeggings on or something like that and uh, go to pretty much anything like I say, this is the, the full length, so the proper sort of dress length, but I think if I was to make it a bit shorter, that would work really well as a summer top that you could wear with a pair of leggings. Absolutely works just fine. Then I have my sort of pinafore dress thing that uh, I made from a curtain. It was a curtain I bought from a, um, a charity shop, and I thought, well, let's make some up with it. It's like a, like a dungarees type material, not dungarees, um, like a corduroy type material and this design I made up myself basically and I think it came out quite well. I do quite like it, there's a couple of things that are still a, a little bit of an issue so if I was to make it again I'd probably change those but yeah I enjoyed making this because it was such a good learning curve for um, learning how to one design something, two get all the little oddity bits as it were sorted out, getting this button piece um, worked out that took quite some time working out how that was going to button up and how it worked on the inside so yeah that was that was really enjoyable to do as a top and again it's um it's not that long i could wear this with a pair of leggings jeggings or something like that thick tights you know um with a basic top on underneath a uh, basic t-shirt and that's um usable at any time now a dress or top that's a little bit different is this, this um, is a simplicity pattern and it's described as a beach wrap top type thing, it's the simplicity 1133. Uh, this was actually really quite an enjoyable make, it's all in one piece, it's um, wrapped around the back so it goes round as it were buttons up and then it comes all the way round over and buttons up again so you know it's it's an all in one piece and then you just put some edging on it and it's really quite nice it's very very simple very lightweight brilliant thing as it describes sort of thing you can 
go to the beach or if you're, I don't know, lounging around the pool or taking it easy in really hot weather. It's just such a nice, simple, basic, lightweight top that you can wear. Again, you could pair this up with a pair of um, tights or jeggings, leggings, or even on this style, you could go, hey, if I'm wearing it on the beach, I'll probably just have a um, sewing costume or something else of that type underneath, and then this on top, um, and then go off down the beach and have a hunt for um, crabs and stuff, or whatever you want to go and have a look at, or hunting rock pools and things, and you've got this nice simple top, and because it's so lightweight, and this is cotton, it doesn't matter if it got a little bit wet. Of course, if you want to protect your arms, put a little basic t-shirt on but this is just a nice basic versatile sort of go out and stay cool top I mean it really is nice a little bit little, sorry a little bit taxing to uh, to make but I really did enjoy making it I did make another one of these and I made it with a little bit of stretch like so this one is a stretchy version we're doing it in a stretchy material so again this is a little bit closer fitting than the previous one but um having that bit of stretch on it means yeah it's brilliant you know have what you like underneath this like i say sewing costume or just a basic top t-shirt type thing again anything you want to put on the bottom i mean it again really comfortable just wrapped around a bit of velcro on the top here instead of buttons and it's just another versatile summer top slash dress that could be worn. I mean, again, because it's described as a beach wrap top, that's probably the sort of thing that I imagine it being worn for, you know, lounging around by the pool or down at the beach. So it's just a, a nice, simple, basic top, and it was enjoyable to make. Now, the last item, well, items that I want to uh, share with you is this dress which is the new look 6301 now this was enjoyable to make this is as it says on the packet just for knits and i hadn't really done any sort of knit material sewing before so making this was definitely a bit of a challenge it was outside my comfort zone but i really wanted to make it it looks really nice i think i got found also say I found this material, got it, and uh, already had that pattern, uh, and I'd been looking for a material that might work with it, because it is a knit, and this is a knit, this is a stretch knit, um, and, well, I think it works really well, it's a really nice design, it's got this sort of crossover piece, a bit like a mock wrap, I suppose, and then you've got this um, belt piece, which is actually attached on the sides and then wrapped around from the back so get that round again come around the front and um, just ties up basically just a simple a single just one sort of tie up there and that works really well uh, the skirt part really quite a long piece, uh, piece a long skirt comes down to definitely the knee just over the knee so it is a nice long dress and it's really really comfortable because it's a stretch you know you can get it on over your head or pull it on however you like you know it's it just so comfortable because it's got that stretch to it I think it's something like about 25% or probably even more than that more like 30 or 40% stretch on it I think so there's quite a lot of stretch in it it's really really comfortable sits really nicely and I enjoy this um, dress it's just lovely I haven't worn it much yet I must admit, since I made it, but, um, but yeah, really nice. Um, can't say a lot more about it than that, other than while I was making it, I did realise that the, the way the top and the bottom section works is that I could make them separately, and that's exactly what I did. So what I've got now is effectively a top with the um, tie band piece on it, and a skirt that I can wear separately. Just put a waistband on this and a waistband on this part and that made a top and a bottom. I suppose I could wear the top and the bottom together at the same time but that defeats the object of wearing the dress so yeah there we go. 
we've got three items from one pattern just because of the way it's constructed. But it is nice because it is stretchy material and it's just so comfortable. So there we go, a little look inside my uh, wardrobe and what I like to wear. Also what I've been making for clothes that I like to wear. So big eclectic mix in there I suppose. Uh, and most of my clothes, yes, they are, as people would say, are for a girl's wardrobe. But to me, clothes are not that simple, uh, or they are that simple as it were. They should encompass whatever clothing you want to wear. Clothes are a sort of an outward showing of who we are and our personality. So to me, clothes, regardless of style, shape, pattern, whatever, are to be worn by anybody as far as I'm concerned. And I do wear most of my clothing most of the time, inside and outside, with the exception probably of um, skirts or, and the longer dresses. I do undefined that unfortunately the prejudices within our society mean that those are the types of clothes I probably couldn't get away with wearing without drawing attention to myself in a way that I don't want. So unfortunately some clothes I just feel I can't wear outside much but generally the rest of the time I wear them all the time and my wardrobe is sort of as you've seen it is that style of clothing. I've got a lot more clothing, a lot of things I haven't shown because I've got a lot more stuff bit too many stuff really but I do like making clothes but that's the other thing making my own clothes I suppose the idea there is that you make a wardrobe that's going to be right for you what you want to wear what you enjoy wearing so for those of us out there who enjoy making clothes from the patterns we end up hopefully with a wardrobe that's just right for us for a range of clothes that we can wear whenever we want because they're our clothes they're personal to us just us alone. So they're an expression of us, uh, an expression of our skills and abilities. So why not? That's my goal anyway, to make a wardrobe that I enjoy wearing, that I want to wear, that I'm not afraid to wear. They're my clothes. They fit me. They're just mine. Anybody else? Well, make your own. See how it goes. Well, thank you for joining me on my video and I hope to see you on my next video and Merry Christmas. Yeah.